What's going on everybody? Got more new leaks coming down the pike here. So first things first, we have from CL Hobby Facebook. We get the first look at the Transformers Authentics Bravo Optimus Primal. And usually with the uh, Bravo Changers, a uh, Bravo scale, it's usually 4.5 inches in height. Fair. Then the other one is going to be the Legacy Evolution Deluxe Cross Cut, which is just a repaint of the uh, Legacy Deluxe Skit. Um, so these are new releases and leaks just coming down the pike, which is amazing because we haven't really seen a whole lot coming out except for everything about Rise of the Beast. So to get something a little different about some regular mainline stuff that we know is going to be coming out and not have to speculate, that's pretty cool. So first things first, we're going to go over the Authentics Bravo Optimus Primal and take a look at some of the, you know, molds here. And first things first, here is the Beast Mold. Not bad, not bad looking, a little simple, but that's what the Authentics uh, figures do. Um, not my cup of tea, but for some, this could be. I know there are a lot of uh, these Authentics collectors out there. Um, I got one or two. I can never find the RC, so I just kept it moving. But interesting enough, the color scheme is, you know, blue, red, silver, and the chest is blue. Now, I'm sure if you're a customizer, you can customize the chest and maybe put a little bit more of a lining for the mouth, and you probably got a halfway decent looking figure. It does not look bad, but you know, if I had my take, I'm good with the uh, Voyager from the Legacy. I mean, from uh, Kingdom. But other than that, though, he does have a little bit of pulsability. Doesn't look too, uh, you know, gimped, I should say. Um, but he is hollow, uh, very hollow, but that's expected with this line. This mostly shows up in like, you know five dollar or below stores or something like that and he does look pretty good if you give him you know the weapons as well as you know being able to put it on the shoulder um this is what you expect from a cheaper version of the mold and yeah he's got two guns um pretty good you know a nice little gift that you can give someone uh like a younger kid not really young but someone maybe like eight or nine and here's the packaging you know looks festive if you ask me it should have came out during christmas but hey here it goes and kind of looks like Rise of the Beast. So, you know, they're trying to catch that crowd, you know, and here it is from the back. Not a whole lot we can see because there's a lot of the writing here in the different languages and things of that nature, but you get the gist of it. Next is the Legacy Evolution Crosscut. Now I'm going to see when this is going to come out. I am not sure, uh, but you know, this was shown on Dime Chalk. You know who Dime Chalk is. They also get stuff pretty quick and early too. And he basically has the same weapons as Skids, except they're painted in red. And it looks like the, a darker blue mold for the clear Energon like axe weapon. But strange that he has red tires. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't recall that being even on the original. I know the original had rubber tires, so I'm not sure why they chose this, but it almost makes it look like a prototype, but I guess if you're good with painting, again, you can paint those rims black and paint the inner of it silver and you'd have it. But here he is in the stance, or she is. I'm not sure, you know, sometimes it's he or she, but anyway, here is the figure in a posing stance. Here's up close head scope, and I'm not going to lie, the head scope almost kind of reminds me of the one from uh, way back in the Generations line, but hey, for my crosscut fans out there, it's a given. So we got these new figures coming down the pike. Um, you know, as I said, you know, it's always beginning of the year. Time for the leaks to come out. And this is, you know, the next leaks. I might get the cross cut. I kind of passed on um, the other repaints like Burnout. And I didn't even go for Crankcase. I had actually the original G1 figure. And that's a lot more fun to play with because he has those automatic rotating guns. As far as the Primal. I don't see myself buying this because like I said before, I already have enough Optimus Primals. I have the original Kingdom, I have the Netflix version, and I have the Target uh, Buzzworthy Bumblebee Nemesis Primal, so I'm good. But what are your thoughts? Leave me down in the comments below. Are you a collector of the Authentics? Are you gonna get this uh, Legacy Evolution Crosscut? Let me know and I'll respond. Well, this is it for the news for now. Until then, we'll see you soon with our news and reviews. Until then, bye-bye.